For my entire career, SQL has always been sort of treated as a second-class citizen. From full-stack developers to data engineers, it seems there's a belief that SQL isn't very useful compared to general-purpose programming languages. When you look up courses for data, either online or boot camps, you'll probably see mostly Python training. Yet when you see people trying to learn analytics to improve their business role, they'll usually talk about learning SQL. Also very common is the, I got the sweet data role at insert thing here, but they keep making me do a bunch of SQL. So what's the deal? When will SQL just go away? Look anywhere in various data communities and you'll see the same refrain, questioning why you aren't using Python for every problem. So what makes Python the preferred skill? It's a high level, general purpose programming language with libraries to do just about anything. The programming language uses natural language elements to make it easier to read. It can be used to do just about anything you want and you can figure out how to do. And it also has libraries, which are collections of pre-written code to simplify certain tasks. For example, pandas is a library that turns turns Python into an analytics beast. Think of it as a comparatively easy to understand core with tons of modules to specialize in. In comparison, SQL has a very focused goal, which is to work with data, and more specifically, sets of data. While starting out with Python, you'll probably do a lot of looping over rows and line by line lookups. SQL discourages those things and wants you to be looking at the table level. It's a declarative language where your code will describe the outcome you want and the logic to accomplish that is abstracted by a query engine. Most of a SQL statement is lists of tables and columns. You really need to know the underlying data for it to make any sense at all. SQL has a very narrow focus with a rigid structure that forces consistency. There are creative people who can do some really impressive things with SQL, but they probably shouldn't. SQL is like working with basic Legos. You can build all sorts of cool things, but they're all going to follow the same simple patterns. It's also very much what you see is what you get compared to Python, which may call libraries that spit out results, which you may or may not understand how it got there. Despite the love for Python, it's still common to see many data engineers say they work as much, if not more, with SQL on a regular basis. So why does it persist? Because it's not all about complexity, it's about the right tool for the job. The key to SQL for analysis is that it should be short and sweet. We've all seen those queries that are thousands of brain-shattering lines, just ugly, wordy, unintelligible, and an inhuman amount of joins and nested queries. The worst example of this is when you get some kind of leak code test and are asked to use SQL. The correct answer is your data model sucks. If this is what you want your data used for, remodel it in a way that doesn't take an insane effort to extract it. If a data remodel isn't an option, use another language that is meant for doing this. While I'm sure it's possible for SQL to accomplish something like leak code, it shouldn't. And it's not a sign of engineering brilliance to do it. It's a sign of stupidity that you don't use the right tool or solve the root problem. That's the strength of SQL. It's not just the language, it's the entire data structure beneath it. And you have to use both in conjunction. So it's best to know which tool you need to use for the job. If you're doing analysis on structured data in a relational database, SQL will almost always be easier, faster, scalable, readable, and consistent. They're called SQL databases for a reason. But when the need calls for complex functions or objects, data exploration without remodeling the data structure, iteration, integration with non-relational data, or when you get that gut feeling that this SQL script is just more complicated than it should be, then it's time to turn to a language like Python. That's what makes multi-language notebooks so fun to use. It's easy to flip between SQL for basic analytics it excels in, and then Python for when specialized libraries are needed. And to learn more about how that works, be sure to check out this video next.